finally, late last year, the U.S. Office of Naval Intelligence admitted an internal task force has been operating for years. The Unidentified Aerial Phenomena Task Force, it's called, has reported an annual budget of over $80 million and reports secretly to the Senate Intelligence Committee. I guess it's not a secret anymore. If UFOs do exist, mind you, it's hardly clear why extraterrestrials would travel many trillions of miles through the dangerous voids of space to simply peer above our heads and occasionally play cat and mouse with the Navy. Full disclosure, we really don't know what the aliens find interesting. Maybe they have their reasons. And now, a whole new way to watch radio. The Dennis George Show. Here's your host, Dennis George. We have a very special, special show for you. We're going to change it up just a little bit. We're going to talk about aliens and UFOs. And wait, wait, before you change that dial or you hit stop or pause or you exit out, let me just say this. If you don't believe in aliens, that's fine. Still hang on. You can laugh with us. If you do believe in aliens... We've got lots of great information for you, so stick around. And if you're just not sure, you know, that's okay, too. Stick around as well. This is going to be a good show for sure. Mitch is here. How are you, Mitch? I'm fantastic. I'm so ready for this show. Let's just get balls deep. Yeah, balls deep for sure. Run. Sam is here. Sam, are you ready for balls deep? Balls deep in your mom. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Debbie's here. Debbie, you ready for balls deep? Stop. Just no. No. Debbie, everybody likes balls. It's fine. I'm surprised Debbie is still on the show right now. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Just log out. Denny G is here. Denny G is here. Denny G, do you are you ready for balls deep? I don't know what that means. You got a picture? <laughs> <laughs> Mitch, <laughs> it's, that's not that's not the new tattoo I got. It's oh. not a picture of balls deep. All right, that's right. You did get a tattoo. Hey, so the big question is this: Do you do you believe in UFOs, Sam? Yes. Mitch. Yeah. Denny G. Yes. Debbie. Yes. Yeah, I do too, but I, I I, will. Debbie has a fantastic top 10 list coming up, which is um, why? why? What's the top? What's the actual title of it? Debbie? <laughs> it's hysterical. No, it's a great list. Do you, do you want me to tell you what the top 10 list it's a is? Great, it's a great list. I why, can't wait. why we haven't heard from Ye- E.T. yet in a big way? Because this is a big thing. Like, for years, for years, Mm -hmm. E.T. has found some isolated farmer in Iowa on a dirt road in the middle of the night who happened to have been drinking a little, and he saw a bright light, and they whooped him up, and they did some probing. They whooped him up? They They whooped him up. up. They whooped him up? They whooped him up, and they did some probing, and he comes Mm -hmm. back with some anal probe story, you know, about how they... Balls deep. Balls deep. Here's the thing, all right? First of all, all farmers are drunk. All right, you have to if you live out in the rural country. Yeah, Second of all, apologize ET, to them. Come on. Yes, we will. List. ET hasn't come yeah, out yet because I don't think the Amish are too, drunk. They're farmers. Yeah, that's true. But ET hasn't come out yet because he's too embarrassed by the butt stuff. You think? Yeah, we got the some butt stories. Stuff. We what have some stuff? stories about anal probing that you're going to want to stick around for. It is quite clear. That aliens seem to be fascinated with the backside, that or or at least the how they it. hook up. Uh, apparently, they're trying to communicate with us. They think that's our mouth. Maybe it's their front side. Maybe it is their front side. Maybe yeah. they don't have sides. Right. Yeah, but you look. We do have a lot of crap right that comes out of our mouth. A real big headache going. Why are we <laughs> doing this today? Debbie's got a brain freeze. <laughs> Why? Why, Lord? Why? <laughs> It's so a does that mean show. E.T. is a homosexual? I, we don't know. He could be unisexual or omnisexual. All or, of it. All of it. Oh, that's and, I'm, and I'm making up words. Um, oh, so, I mean, you know, it's fine. 
it's completely fine. I mean, it is ET for crying out loud. And everything is all ET space UFO focused. There is a new movie that just came out called Voyagers. This is a sort of a um what's it where they have all those kid Lord of the Flies? It's kind of like a Lord of the Flies in space. I uh, and it's supposed to, it's very highly touted. It just came out, just got released. I'm looking forward to seeing it this week. I'm so. not sure that I would call that a Lord of the Flies in space necessarily. Yeah, I read a I read a I read a description of a review and that's how they entitled the beginning uh, of the review. No, Wait they, a minute, can we talk about you read a description of a review? So you didn't even read the review. You read a description <laughs> summary of the, of the review. <laughs> summary of the review. I, did you, did you hmm. read the notes, summary the of notes. what the show is? <laughs> I have been busted. <laughs> so I'm just I don't have debris? I don't have no, is that any good? Yes. It's just good yeah. in a really strange way. I'm probably a few episodes into it. I'll see. Do you drink while you watch it? Sure. Okay. I'm just getting a you know barometer. No, it's a it's yeah, it's, it's yeah. different. What's the it's name different. of the show? Debris. debris. There's a debris? spaceship that oh, explodes yeah. above the Earth's atmosphere and debris falls down and debris does strange things to people, makes like portals where you can go through them and oh cool. That kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah I've watched the age. first yeah. four or yeah. five episodes. Uh -huh. And it's interesting. It's yeah. very interesting. I like the I like the take that they've taken with this show. I, I don't know how long I can stay with it, but so far so good. Yeah. Well, well, we'll have to give it a try. I will do one thing off topic of tonight's show. Um, oh, right. Mitch, Mitch did get a tattoo this week, uh, and I'm going to try to coerce him into showing it off. It's not a tramp stamp, so those of you watching, calm down. Uh, he's not going to. Maybe. Turn around and bear all this time. Maybe next time. Uh, so tune in for that. But this time, <laughs> uh, he got a tattoo. And Mitch, are you willing to reveal and tell us where you got a tattoo? Sure. Where did you get your so, tattoo? I got it on my uh, my left pec up here. Your so left that pec. Actually, was a little sensitive. So for yeah. the YouTube viewers, do you want to show it to people? Sure. Let me get up close and personal with everybody. He's going to strip for us. So... Those of you all, go he's ahead and get it. He's strip. not going to strip. He's just going to oh. show the tattoo. Can you come in just a little closer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's kind of cool. What's the inspiration for the um? Um. So I'm actually a Buddhist, and that's actually used in a couple of religions, like uh, mm -hmm. Sikhism, Hinduism, and that's why I actually put the Buddha behind it. Yeah. Fantastic artistry. I mean, it's oh yeah, beautiful. I'm pretty impressed with the detail. Uh, we will, with Mitch's permission, I'm going to just throw this out there. We will post a picture on the Dennis George Show Facebook page if you want to take a look at it. If that's okay with Mitch, is that all right, Mitch? Perfect. All right, so we're going to do a full frontal body nudity photo of Mitch. No. If you needed anything like, for your spank bank, right? No. So like and subscribe. So, no, Debbie, I'm trying to drive up no. uh, subscription. Where's no. your buzzer? No, no. Dennis, you're no. trying to drive up something else. <laughs> there we go. Whatever we got to do. I'm just saying we're here no, for you. No, no, I mean, actually, Dennis, throwing that out there, if we raise like $10,000 for cancer, I'll do the show naked. This sounds like a fantastic, fantastic challenge. You're so cheap. Ten thousand so, to get so naked. That's it. It brings it brings a whole new phrase. Well, you can listen, do the show naked with no video. Listen, it brings a whole new phrase to the term "stand up for cancer." Stand out for cancer. No, stand oh up for cancer. That's the national. That's the yeah. national campaign that they use in all the ballparks and the sports and the celebrities. It's called "stand up for cancer," and this makes this this has a whole new meaning for us, which is fantastic, Mitch. Like for every ten thousand we do, somebody else on the cast has to do the show naked. So I mean, like um, we get fifty thousand dollars, we're all doing it naked. I like it. I like it. Oh, sure, with no video. Denny G, you I are mean, absolutely no. Flag on the play. Flag on the play. <laughs> Flag on. I like that. We have a really good Personal show for fall. you. We have a really good show for you. Uh, Debbie's top ten list. Uh, we said we're gonna explore why ET. Hasn't made himself known or heard himself known. Can you or please stop 
saying E.T. and just say alien. Alien. Well, but I didn't want to make the Mexicans mad. I swear. Oh, oh, oh no. my God. No, that's bad. Yes. That's a real well, isn't that what they call folks? Stop it. In the Stop olden it. day? No. Stop no. it. Right. No, no, talking no. about olden days. That no. is not. Yeah. No, yeah. it is. Stop. Just stop. So we got a top 10 list and weird people. So stick around. We're going to be right back. The Dennis George Show continues after this. <laughs> Our fellow Americans. Right now, the COVID-19 vaccines are available to millions of Americans. And soon, they will be available to everyone. The science is clear. These vaccines will protect you and those you love from this dangerous and deadly disease. They could save your life. So we urge you to get vaccinated when it's available to you. That's the first step to ending the pandemic and moving our country forward. It's up to you. The views expressed on Dennis George Show are not our own or anyone else's. Listen at your own risk, and we cannot be held responsible for your ears burning, bleeding, or ringing, or the blurred eyesight. Some things you will not be able to unhear or unsee, and for that, you are warned. Not try anything we suggest or talk about at home, work, or in your car. A reminder, there are no rules and our show is intended for mature audience only. Or at a minimum, those over your states or countries legal age of consent. Any experiments, jobs, skills, or sexual positions suggested and or recommended are for comedy purposes only and should not be tried without supervision. Or a spot. Safety word or phrase is recommended in advance of trying anything new. Any medical advice or comments that seem like medical advice should be reviewed with your own doctor. Or at least check it on Google like we did. Thank, Thank you and, and good luck. luck. And now, back to the Dennis George Show. So, full, uh, full disclosure here. When I was when I was researching the UFO sounds, I scared myself. <laughs> some of the sounds are Raise really, your hand if you're shocked. Some, some of the sounds are really spooky. Nobody? <laughs> yeah. No. <clears throat> yeah. Soundtrack from, like, Aliens is really scary. Like, the soundtrack from it. Like... The special effects sounds that they put together. Just the soundtrack is scary, huh? <clears throat> yeah. The, uh, I don't know what I need to get Alexa to play at Dennis's house in the middle of the night. Right. So here is an interesting. 3 a.m. These are recorded and reported sightings by state. The top 10 states for UFO reported sightings. Now they have, this is from the National UFO Reporting Center, which by the way, there is such a thing the National UFO Reporting Center. Fantastic website, chock full of scientists and people who take this stuff a little more seriously than we might tonight. Um, and So we they, just should apologize to them? Maybe. Yes. They, they have, you can go, you can actually report sightings. Uh, you can report experiences and they investigate, which is kind of cool. According to them, uh, top 10 lists since 1998 According to the National UFO Reporting Center, these are sightings. Uh, North Carolina is number 10 with 2,273. Michigan is 2,251. Ohio, 2,900. Pennsylvania, 3,100. Arizona, 3,200. New York State, 3,800. Texas, the great state of Texas, 4,359. Washington State, 5,004, Florida, this is where a lot of crazies live, 5,100. We'll apologize to Florida. Hey, it's where Canaveral is too, you know. That's right. That's right. That's Well, but these they scrub the, they scrub the number for known stuff, known phenomenon. These are things that it could not explain. So they've scrubbed off of it um, launches that they knew, um, that kind of stuff. Uh, right. And the number one list, California, 11,202. <laughs> so a couple of things about this. All right. So, I mean, like, first of all, some states are bigger than others, right? Yeah. And so that's not fair. But I mean, like Ohio, they've got Wright-Patterson Air Force Base where they do a lot of testing on new age aircraft. That's true. All right. It, true. And I mean, California has Vandenberg Air Force Base. And population, but, too. Yeah, yeah. They, they do a lot of space launches. By the way, this is interesting. UFO reports have doubled worldwide over the past 12 months. <laughs> so apparently, well, during, less, yeah, less planes. Yeah, less planes. Uh, cleaner. And during the pandemic, 
maybe people have less to do that they're wandering around in a field at night staring up in the sky. Up in the sky. <laughs> it might be just Half doing a lot of shrooms. <laughs> yeah, and, and, I must say, why we're is in it quarantine, we're doing field? drugs. Why because is it always Debbie, in a field, Dennis? Because, Debbie, I'm going <laughs> to tell you why. Because after spending a day reading the National <laughs> UFO database, okay, I will tell you that there's a greater proportionate number of reports where people are wandering in a field at night for no reason at all. I'm just saying. And by the way, we got a room for the spaceship to land. Right. During the pandemic, I have often wanted to wander in a field staring up at the sky. So I get it. I understand it completely. Um, let's also note that SpaceX has launched over 1,200 Starlink satellites into space as they're building a worldwide Internet system. By the way, in the sky, they look like a train of lights. Uh, I have put a photo on our social media accounts, Facebook and Twitter, that shows this phenomenon because... Thousands of you report these Starlink satellites as they continue overhead every single night. So even there's a message, there's a message on the homepage of the UFO Reporting Center with a picture that says, do not report this. We know what it is. So they're right. not geosynchronous? I don't even know what that word means. Oh, that means they stay in relative position in the sky all the time. Yeah. I have no idea. Yeah. So like if you get high enough in orbit, orbit yeah, there, there's a magical there. point in orbit that you know it's like 200,000 miles I out know, i don't know that about you that. well so so like xm place. satellites so our, our yeah. direct tv or all those they have those kinds of satellites up there otherwise she would lose your signal as the day went on yep. yeah i mean i know what yeah. you're saying i just don't know the answer oh yeah you didn't find that on the website dennis yeah but i didn't didn't dig that deep on the spacex program yeah, I'm, I'm, it's curious, that's all. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's talk a little bit about weird people. Tonight, we're going, not tonight, today, this show, we're going to talk about, just stop it. We're going to talk about two of the first noteworthy modern day abduction cases. Now, these are, these are the cases, these two cases have been studied extensively and, okay. and are noteworthy. So, there's lots of reports of, of stuff out there, lots and lots of reports. But these are early cases, but considered modern day. And I'm just going to read them to you, and then we can talk about them, okay? That way we got a little bit of background here because we want to – is there some truth to any of this hoo-ha stuff? Hoo-ha? Right. Hoo-ha. <laughs> We're going to apologize to the hoo-ha. Hoo-ha. I mean, what was the other one he did when they were, like, beam me up, Scotty? <laughs> I don't know. They whooped up. Whooped they whooped him up. They whooped him up. They whooped him up. They whooped him up in the hoo ha. <laughs> <laughs> the ball's deep. That sounds really personal. <laughs> Who whooped oh him up in the hoo ha? That's a different term. Please add. <laughs> What's the term we're supposed to be using? Your the hoo ha. No, 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 no. We're no. apologizing to the hoo ha. Please hoo-ha. add. Please add the space friends to our apology list because they're listening. I already, I added, and I do not want them. I do not need the space aliens to be writing me email. Dennis's address is. is. (laughs) What's the organization you belong to? Space friends. Uh, Come down and probe me. (laughs) Space friends. (laughs) Wasn't there a cartoon show called Space Friends? (laughs) I think so. Oh, Lord. (laughs) Oh. And then Barney, we'll I the one who is saying, right. rein it in. All right. Barney Why am Betty, I the one that's saying that? Barney and Betty Hill. <laughs> Barney and Betty Hill took a spontaneous trip to the White Mountains of New Hampshire in September 1961. Barney needed a break from his night shift. Wait for it. From the post office. Betty was mentally exhausted from handing out state welfare cases, um, handling state welfare cases. On the last night of their makeshift honeymoon, the first, two, the, the two, found themselves in a Vermont diner ready to make the last dash home to Portsmouth, New Hampshire, leaving by 10 p.m. They planned on arriving home by 2 a.m. On the road, Betty noticed a particularly bright star, perhaps a planet, in the sky. When the celestial object began changing its course in an erratic manner, Betty was convinced it was a UFO. Her husband was not. Barney, she said, if you think that's a satellite or a star, you're being completely ridiculous. As the object drew closer, Barney pulled the car to a stop and, gun in hand, got out to investigate. 
As he approached the object, Barney saw what he would later describe as a pancake-like disc glowing with brilliant white light that was about the size of a jet. Fleeing back to his car, he and Betty tried to evade the vessel, but were instead overcome with an intense drowsiness and immediately fell unconscious. The couple pulled into their driveway around dawn, unable to recall what had happened. Two hours of memory seemed to have been wiped from their minds. While Betty was convinced they had encountered a UFO and later reported the sighting to the Air Force, her husband was skeptical. It was only when the couple met a psychiatrist named Dr. Benjamin Simon for a consultation in December of 63 that Barney changed in mind. The doctor found both to be suffering from crippling anxiety. Betty, in particular, manifested hers in the form of repetitive nightmarish dreams. Dr. Simon put them all under hypnosis, which reportedly yielded highly ominous memories. Barney Hill recalled creatures with slanted eyes taking the couple aboard their UFO to conduct experiments on their naked bodies. Barney claimed that the beans took samples of their hair, skin, and nail clippings, and then a six-inch long needle was inserted into Betty's stomach. Betty told Dr. Simon that she later asked a bean if they knew to be the leader, if they knew who the leader was. It jokingly replied, if you don't know where you are, uh, there wouldn't be any point of telling you where I am. During another hypnosis session in 64, Betty purportedly drew a star map of the sky from memory as seen from the planet orbiting the star Zelda Reticuli. Now, this is what's interesting because they're all like shaking your head going, yeah, whatever. No, no, I was only shaking my head because it's Zeta, not Zelda. Thank you, Zeta. The video <laughs> game. Thanks. Most shockingly, above all, was that this map was drawn with confounding accuracy that Zeta Reticuli lay, lies some 400, I'm sorry, 40 light years from Earth. Betty's nearly spot on recreation of the stars surrounding an actual star system remains most of the, one of the most intriguing aspects of all alien stories ever reported. Astronomers, astro help me with that word. Astronomers. Astronomers and scientists confirm after careful analysis, there is no way Betty could have known her aspect perspective from that galaxy drawing a map accurate to the point of view of that distant galaxy. More recent analysis, like in the last 10 years, shows that her map accurately pinpoints stars in their places that were not known to us here on Earth at the time due to our limitations of our telescopes. No, why, she was probed. Why, why were they in a why were they in a diner for her honeymoon? Right. <laughs> that's the name is that's Benny the Hill. Pressing. All I can think of is the English comedian and the Benny Hill show. That is all I can think of. In me. addition to all of this, numerous residents of Berkshire County, Massachusetts, individually reported having seen a UFO on the same date, September 1st, 1969. Authorities were a loss for the explanation. This wasn't a lone sighting induced by sleep deprivation that could easily have been dismissed. It truly it appeared been induced by cocaine. It truly appeared as though something uncanny had occurred. Uh, by the way, um, I'm going to skip through a couple things here. Um, Can I say I think it's very interesting that in the very beginning of your story, she's the one that saw it, and he didn't believe it was true. Mm -hmm. But then he pulls over and he gets his gun out. Why do you need your gun? You don't even believe in it. Yeah. Because it was approaching them, and he didn't know what it was. Mm. That's why, because it was getting. But it's closer. not true. That's the thing. It was getting closer. Yeah. He didn't believe that it was an alien. Ah, crap. I'm following. But he didn't. It was coming closer, so he didn't know. Gotcha. When. Yeah. What adds to the whole story even more in terms of validity is that um, some adults who called into the local radio station also reported the sighting. Others were children who began drawing UFOs in class. There was over 20 or 30 sketches that were drawn by children in a fourth grade class. One person uh, who interviewed about this was talking about um, and they hung them up. And it was quite interesting that um, a lot of those sketches now, now by the way, are in uh, the UFO Roswell Museum today. Um, because they were all circles. <laughs> I know, like, right? Come I mean, on. Like, of course, they all look similar. They I know, were like, you hear, I yeah, you hear the UFO. Another. Yeah, and, and you think flying saucer. Okay, great. What are you going right. to draw? 
I it mean, was it late was Independence Day. Flying it was saucers. later estimated that about 40 oh, people cube. reported seeing the UFO. Some of them were children at the time are still alive in the area today. Um, and of course, you know, um, remember it vividly. The entire incident, by the way, is documented in an episode of Netflix Unsolved Mysteries, season one called Berkshire's UFO. Um, so it was studied. So it's been it's been pretty well studied by a lot of folks. Um, I I OK, so in reading a ton of this stuff over the over the past week, getting ready for the show, I, I, I was very skeptical. I laughed at a lot of stuff. But I think the thing that threw me the most was her star map that she created. That to me, that's yeah, from that that's, perspective, that's, that's impressive. Pretty, that's pretty definitive for me. How, how? Because I mean, none of us have ever been to what was it, Zeta? Zeta Reticuli. Zeta Reticuli. I mean, how do you know? I mean, well, they, they do said discuss, they've done studies on that now. Yeah, they just now this is 1969. They oh, do discuss. Right. They do discuss something as as recent as 10 years ago where they re-explored her map and reanalyzed it and they were able to find things that we only know now exist um that she had done probably probe so i'm a bit of a skeptic all right and i mean until someone gets to zeta reticuli and takes a picture of the night sky eh. well that's going to be uh <laughs> you know we're having trouble flying a little helicopter on mars so i think it's going to be a while just say it no we did that yeah we didn't have trouble yeah, it's a listen. I'm glad NASA's doing it, but I'm just not sure that it's worth spending all that money to. I would be more interested in to understand why somebody would ask her that specific question because that certainly isn't something that would come up. I would right? think. You know, when you're talking question? about that. The draw question, the night sky. So where the star, oh, where the the stars map. were. Okay, yeah. So where, where's <laughs> that? What, what's the genesis of that question? I don't know that there was a question that was asked. I'm not sure. I don't know. Yeah. No, but well, why would she just say these stars are in these locations? You know, I'm, you're not following what I'm saying. Then. Yeah, she drew. Oh, a, I thought apparently it, she drew a map of what she saw when she was I on. Thought she space. was hypnotized when she did that, right? She, she was. That that that's what that's what Dennis yeah, said. Is was, that under the second hypnosis, hypnosis, session. hypnosis session? Yeah. But I mean, still, I'm with actually, I'm with Danny G on this one. Is that you know, it was unprompted. So I mean, it was something she wanted could have wanted us to know yeah all right I mean, the other the other thing you know, maybe happened. they were maybe they were dusting i was some coming kind from of, the suspicious side maybe they were dusting some kind of hallucinogen over that county for military experiments in 69 they were crop probably dusting. they were crop yes. dusting people it with cocaine yes. <laughs> there's a lot of crop dusting that doesn't happen anymore it was harmful right mm -hmm. <laughs> they probably just got crop right. dusted i just think someone's crop of marijuana got burned down by the police on that night yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that. So. They got so high they started so yep. hallucinating. Yeah. Mm. All I've right, so let's, let's go around. Do we believe the story? Do we believe that they have been abducted, Debbie? I don't know. I'm on the Denny G. No. Mitch. I don't know. Hmm. Sam. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. That's pretty good balance. Stick around. Top ten list. Debbie's got it. Here we go. Find us online at DennisGeorgeShow.com. Hey there. Catch us 24-7 on social media. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and Good Pods. On Alexa and Google Assist, say, play Dennis George Show podcast. If you have a question or comment, send us an email at podcast at DennisGeorgeShow.com. Or if you're just looking for a date. If we read your question or comment on the show, We'll send you a Dennis George Show t-shirt. That's podcast at DennisGeorgeShow.com. Now back to the show. Yeah, so this is this is a is pretty this good a list. Scary noise? This this is a UFO landing. <laughs> is this a scary noise, Dennis? Mm. It is not scary. And how do you know that? Have you been probed? Wait. I have been I have been probed. So, I so think I, I figured out why they like to probe. Uh, they, we, they keep they keep reading in our history books and they keep hearing us talk about this planet uranus oh my god stop <laughs> <laughs> you really you could have come up with something better <laughs> you're, you're laughing so it's fine okay fine it's fine it's fine well it's the safest way to get inside someone's body without hurting them 
So if you're doing some, if you if you're if you're if you're doing some scientific peaksy, well, my doctor would not disagree. Like when I'm I sorry. turned fifty, I'm sorry, some what? scientific what? I don't know what he said. Scientific. I think he said look see. <laughs> lifty. He said, no, he said peaksy. 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 You're right. So now, so now, wait a minute. We gotta, we gotta get, we gotta keep all this straight. All right. You whoop them up in the hoo ha for a peaksy. <laughs> for a peaksy. Right. Well, but if you're gonna go in there, that's the least of, that's the least you know difficult way I would think. And that's when they go ball deep. Right. I'm saying if you're an alien and you gotta like do some exploratory deal, that's the way you're gonna go, right? Gonna, I don't know. I'm not an alien. Cut them up. <laughs> I mean, you could say, like, you know, open your mouth and an say, ah. Opsy. Uh, an opsy. An instead of a peeksy. <laughs> oh. Well, it could, it could be a way to get to the spinal column as well. Yeah, see? Because mm. that's yeah. where all your, you know, everything. Maybe fires. they hook into the bottom of your tailbone. If you're not of this world and you can answer this question, send us an email. Podcast at DennisGeorgeShow.com. We want to I'm read really your emails. The emails we you're get want your one. email. <laughs> what, Mitch? We want that one. Yeah. I'm just really curious the emails you're going to get from this one. Just yeah. people been like, I'm an alien. If you wear if you wear a tin hat, you do not need to email us. Just say Why not? All right, you Sam, apologize that. for the tin hat wearers. <laughs> Why are you being excluded? Is that a thing? Yeah. Yes. Foil sure. hat. Yes. Yeah. People wear foil hats. Yes. Yeah. You know that you've gone crazy if you need a sheet of tin foil. Wait a minute. Why have I never seen this now. in public? I'm so sad I've never got to experience this. Apparently, if you're a police officer, it's imperative that you carry a box of tin foil in your trunk. Please send me an email it. so I, I can see you in a foil times. hat. Denny G, do you have a foil hat? I'm not Sam. <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't. <laughs> I have a foil. Well, I, no, I don't think so. Yeah, don't think so. One of our listeners out there, please make a tinfoil hat, put it on your head, yes. take a picture so that yes. can see it. Please. I got to see this. Please send us an aluminum foil hat. And please, I hope there's somebody that is a tinfoil hat listener that actually is, this Careful. is their belief. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I want to see a, a legit. I've seen it several, I've seen it several times. Are you serious? And it seems to work. Yes, and it seems to work. It, it blocks it. the rays. That's that's the, the, the yeah. That's theory. the idea. That's yeah. the idea. Right. No, seriously. Yes, yeah, seriously. Sorry, Mitch. Seriously. Uh, great. I'm getting so educated. And it's not. It's not a pleasant thing. Sam, <laughs> Sam don't retain this. Okay, I'm just letting you know. Okay. Don't retain any of this. Okay. Debbie, where's that buzzer? Which one? Do you want the bell or the buzzer? I don't, I don't care. <laughs> All right. Give us a top 10, Debbie. What do you got? So this top 10 list is more of a top 10 series as to why we have not yet been contacted by the aliens. Yeah, because mm. here's the thing. Just one little thing. We are, the, we are no, the aliens. No, where's no. the mute button for Debbie? One little thing. No, one little thing, though. Because seriously, why haven't they shown up like during a Cardinals game or a Mets game or and hovered over the stadium. They don't so like we can't even find them in outer smart. space. Why would they <laughs> want to interfere with us? <laughs> We're going to destroy Eddie our G. own planet. Betty G, that should be one of the numbers. Let's see. Okay, Debbie, take it away. <laughs> I got one more thing. So here's how, here's how, here's how it happened. Yeah. They were on Venus and the atmosphere was going to hell and all this stuff was, you know, it was getting sucked away and they came to earth because they had to go someplace where they could live. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Isn't that sort of the basis of Scientology? No. No, not at all. No, no, Scientology is a rocket ship thing. You know? Sam and Scientology. Sure? Uh, <laughs> Should we, though? No, <laughs> for Scientology, Sorry, they did not come from Venus. No, no, no. They didn't, no, but they came from somewhere. Yeah, from so some other planet. Rock, yeah, some and then they're supposed to come back and pick them up. I don't know. Mm. Yeah. Xanadu? <laughs> okay, Debbie, give oh, us Oh, they're list. here. We're here. Give us the top 10 list. Of so, number 10. This is theories why we have not yet heard from the aliens. Number 10 is that the aliens are all dead. <laughs> so that's, that's kind so of that's just UFOs floating around out there. Well, the, this is a theory. I'm not saying right, this right, is, you know, right. so, but they're saying because the universe is so old, 13.78 billion years old, 
and there might have been other civilizations prior to us that have evolved and gone extinct before we even came into being. Mm. So that is a theory. Okay. Dead. Aliens are dead. Climate uh, change. <laughs> number yeah. nine. Climate change. This, this one makes me giggle a little bit. The aliens are all sleeping. Sleeping. Mm. Sleeping. All right. So maybe they're just hibernating. Kind of like um, vampires, but they have a much longer resting period. Potentially. This is kind of like the dr- groundhog. Instead of Ponxatilly Phil, we're going to pull out the alien. I said Ponxatilly? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I, you know what I mean? I, I can't with More you. Like I can't. Poxatilly? Poxatawny <laughs> Phil, the groundhog. Poxatawny. Is this going to be like the groundhog deal where you got to pull the alien out of the hole? No, they're more like locusts. No, Longer they pull the probe of out of the hole. The all right. <laughs> to see what season yeah, it back is. Back to that balls deep Just deal. Wait and see. <laughs> all right. So I, I'm not going to read the rest of that one. So <laughs> number eight. <laughs> So the aliens are hiding. Well, we know that's true. Well, duh. And why do we know that's true, Dennis? Because we haven't been seeing them. They're hiding. We've but we seen UFOs. Seen Go on, Debbie. So, <laughs> so uh, there, you know, the, one of the theories behind this, or one of the, the thoughts behind this, is that you know many people think that if aliens come to the Earth that it would be very detrimental for us. They would come to take over. But maybe it's also the other way around that they're also afraid of the human beings here. Um, so that's that, that's part of why they're in hiding. That's number eight. We certainly don't seem to be nice to each other. Like if you're observing yeah. us as a civilization in general, right. and you're looking at the wars and us killing each other and and hunger and all those kinds of things, you might be up there going, we don't need to be. We don't need to be cohabitating with these people. Yeah. I don't. I don't disagree. They're going to try to kill us just because we're different. Right. And you know what? Think of all those movies: War of the Worlds, Aliens. You know, Independence Day. That's what it's. We've sort of Hollywood has glamorized that aliens the, coming down are bad for us. This is just a zoo for the aliens. They just come by to look at the people. <laughs> it's right. <laughs> That's fantastic. And the, the $85 will let like you probe seen. one. Right. What we're, we're seeing coming. is... Wait, we're wait, wait, the- wait, stop. I have a really good comment. The UFOs that we see are the, the aliens that jump the fences to get a closer look at us. There you go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I like it. Mm-hmm. The grade school classes for the aliens are going to the zoo. We're going to the earth to fly by the crazies. <laughs> Don't be like them. I like it. All right, number seven is that the aliens are still evolving. Hmm. And maybe alien life is actually everywhere, but just not intelligent enough to speak with us. So think about, you know, uh, evolution here. It took about 3.5 billion years for a single cell microbe to turn into anything, really. Um, So you're saying that, like, a stupid single cell up microdosum, like, built a spaceship and shot itself here. We're not saying the logic is sound. I can just tell you what's on this. Careful, Mitch, what you're saying. (laughs) You can't defend it. I can't defend it. I'm not saying this is my list that I wrote. (laughs) Okay. Number six, the aliens are bored with us. So that theory is they visited us, they checked us out, found us way too simple and boring that they just moved on. That's probably uh, they, more if they the do case. drugs, they'd be giggling. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> they should have come back for 2020, man. They would have had a great time. Could very well be the case. They're so they're so intelligent and so evolved. Yeah, that we're boring. Yeah. Or they just got tired of us and they were like, "We're done. We're out of here." Yeah. Right. We're out. We are. We are over this. All right. Uh, number five is humans haven't spent enough time looking. So. Part of this theory is that we've only had the proper equipment to search for aliens for a little over half a century. When you look at the grand scheme of the life of the cosmos thus far, that's just the blink of an eye. So right. that's, that's the theory is that we just haven't been looking long enough to actually find it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Number four, y'all are going to love this one, that the aliens are already here. And this is where conspiracy <laughs> theorists really get to go kind of crazy. 
Mm -hmm. So maybe yeah, the no, aliens like are already easy. here and we just haven't figured it out yet. They might be taking time to study us before unveiling them themselves, or maybe they've already let themselves be known to certain groups. Dennis Rodman? There there are there are a ton of groups oh, out there. In Dennis. There are a ton of groups out there that truly believe that there are aliens among us and that this exactly is true. There I mean there was a the documentary Close Encounters of the Fifth Kind you can find right now on Netflix that was released last year that covers is that a lot a of documentary? this. Documentary. Uh yeah, yeah, it's documentary. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean it's not a drama, it's not a whatever the hell they call it when it's two things pushed together. <laughs> they call it a hot dog. They call that a whoop whoop. All right. A, do a docudrama is what you're looking for. What Debbie just said. It's not a docudrama. A hot dog. It sounds better. Yeah, whatever a hot the dog. hell they call it when they mush two things together. <laughs> you all are so mean to me. <laughs> whoop whoop. Uh, <laughs> fine. Whatever the fine. hell they call it when they mush two things together. It's fine. <clears throat> number number three, aliens are a psychological condition of our imagination. Now I want to read this one because it it made me giggle a little. As drugs evolved in the sixties and seventies, more and more stories of abductions and visits surfaced. Oh, and visits, like the aliens visiting us, surfaced. Maybe all this is a product of our own illusions and imagination. In fact, as more stories come to light, more people write post and talk about it and that affects our collective thoughts about aliens mm -hmm. 60s and 70s acid yeah but it's true you see <laughs> right. you, like the picture of the alien or the flying saucers that's now out there people see that and so when they see something in the sky they go yeah that cloud is shaped like a flying saucer you know because right. we, put in, we put in their head the image and so that's what they see you're right debbie that's that's a good one dun, dun. I didn't write it. I just read it. That's all I do. Okay. You can't give me crap. I won't take the props either. I didn't write them. No. Right, number, number two, Hollywood is to blame. Maybe there were a few visits and some stories long ago, but Hollywood is really to blame for ruining, running with the story with early movies like War of the World, Aliens, E.T., etc., that builds us to believe and then dream and imagine. Yeah. It is Hollywood's fault. Yeah. They also make us, uh, uh, you know, they put so much clothing on all the time. We are, we've we've be, been so. I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm trying to spit it out. I couldn't you form a thought. <laughs> you, perfect. Can you put a few words together? And make a sense. I really <laughs> just wanted to put Hollywood on the apology Sam, list. You know, I'm trying to think. <laughs> Wait, Sam, are you trying to say that Hollywood puts so many clothes on? We've become so immodest that we can't handle yes. nudity anymore. Right. Okay. We need them to take off more clothes. Good job, Debbie. Good Henry, job. Henry, Henry Cavill, Cavill, take it off, off buddy. buddy. <laughs> Go watch the tutors, Sam. Go oh, watch my the God. Tutors. Oh, yeah. First season. Yes. Mm. I need more. All right. And then number, you, you totally threw me off with Henry Cavill. Why'd you have to bring him up? You're welcome. Now, now I'm all, I'm all flustered. I knew you would agree with me if I went that I route. I do. Let's talk uh, about Tom Hardy. Those lips. Good God. All right. Stop. Stop. All right. Number eight. <laughs> the number one reason that we have not heard from the aliens yet. We just simply are not listening. Hmm. So the, this theory is that the aliens are here and communicating with us every day. And and there's basically I don't, I don't like the way this is written. I'm not going to lie, Dennis. I don't like the way this is written. Yeah. But, but this is what it says. One man, Jesus, spoke to the world. Is it so far-fetched then to believe Bubba in a cornfield in Iowa can't carry to all of us the alien's message? <laughs> I think so, it's a fantastic here's, point. Here's my theory why they haven't talked to us, actually. <laughs> is I actually think they actually have at one point like way back in our past and we started to look at them as gods and so they left you're going stargate right there you're going stargate <laughs> no i'm actually going more like you know the thor movies and comic books right 
I mean, they were here. They did some amazing things. We thought of them as gods, and they saw what we were doing with that divinity, like killing in their name, sacrificing in their name, and they thought the easiest thing they could do is simply just leave. And there are a lot everyone, of people, Mitch. There are a lot of people, Mitch, who believe. Are we ready? That the t the temples, for example, the temples, the pyramids, that the pyramids were actually built by aliens. That there's no way those things could have been built at the time, the way that supposedly history reports it. That it had to have been alien influence. I don't know if I agree with that. I don't agree with that either. Yeah, I'm just saying it's a theory that's out there. I'm not saying I believe it. Mm -hmm. Right. I believe mm -hmm. it. Sure, that's what they all say. No, I mean, I challenge, I challenge an alien, make themselves known to us, because listen, we're going to invite them to come on the show. I'm Write us an email. The challenge, right? Right. We're... Come on our show. <laughs> come on our show. <laughs> we have to set up an account. With your tinfoil hat. Can we just call you, for God's sake? We'll yeah. send them. I, I tell we'll the to Dennis and probulate him. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Whoop him up. In the yeah, pool. Whoop him up. Whoop him up. Whoop him up. I would rather not go. I would rather send them the Zoom link and have them pop into our show. I'm just saying. <laughs> I just made them pop into you. Hey, you all don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe the invitation's out there now. And who knows? Maybe they're going to show I up. I don't think they need the Zoom link. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm with Denny G on that one. Do you think they need the link? Probably not. Yeah. No. I say but if the <laughs> alien shows up for the show, it needs to sit behind Dennis the entire higher time yes and make sure make sure to make noises and occasionally just reach over and touch him give him a little yeah. whoop whoop in the hoo -ha. that's that's bad so -ha. we don't want to do that at all we'll whoop him up in the hoo-ha for a little baby oh y'all are so mean dude you were making up words and crap was up it's oh. true we're missing them together Fine. Whatever the hell they call it when they mesh two things together. Talk to Tossy <laughs> Phil. Right. Uh, I'm crying. Oh my god. All right. Uh, just a little more show left. We're gonna take a little break, and we'll be right back. The Dennis George Show continues after this. <gasps> Check out our YouTube channel. It's a whole new way to watch radio where you can find each episode of our show. Just search Dennis George Show. Like us and subscribe. See you there. Hey, this is Mitch from the Dennis George Show. If you have a question, comment, new sexual position, things I should do with Dennis's mom or looking for a date or even looking for a date with Dennis's mom, send us an email at podcast at dennisgeorgeshow.com. If we read your question or comment on the air, we'll send you a t-shirt. That's podcast at DennisGeorgeShow.com. And now, back to the show. So, here it is. I, I want a scary out, noise. I figured it's scary out noise. why the aliens have not visited us yet. Why? They've heard the speed of your dial-up while you're checking the email. <laughs> That's true. <clears throat> Could be true. Where's the, where's the scary noise? I want to hear a scary I, noise. The noises were too scary that I didn't download them. <laughs> I mean, can't we at least get Scorny Weaver? Stay away from you. There were some pretty, there were some pretty intense ones. I mean, they've they've made some pretty intense soundtracks for. Or any alien of them noise. Halloween sounding. No, more alien, like you know, an alien chasing Sigourney Weaver on the ship type thing. Give yeah. us an example. I can't. I didn't sound. download them all. Come on. I, I, no, I you make the know. sound. Something like Twilight. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Yeah, Twilight Zone kind of stuff. This is a setup. <laughs> Come I, I on, try know. it. I want to know what the difference is between a Halloween sounding sound effect and an <laughs> alien sound effect. I need clarification on that. Denny G? Right. You sure the oh, difference? No, no. You were the one. Dennis. I didn't say Halloween sounding. I'm, I'm not saying you did, but oh. you said, no, no, they were more alien sounding. Like the movie. Halloween. Oh, oh, I meant the movies. I meant the alien, the movies with Sigourney Weaver is what I meant. Yeah, I like Twilight Zone. It was the probably the whoop them up kind of sounds. Twilight Zone's not really scary. Those sound effects aren't scary, but it's like the monsters, monsters in space type deal. <laughs> monsters in monsters Inc. snakes on a plane. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <clears throat> here's a question oh, for you all. <clears throat> Would you, if you were personally contacted? <laughs> by aliens 
you personally, and they said, hey, Denny G, we would like you to go away with us for a full year to help us study you and you study us and study the earth. We'll return you back in pristine condition in a year, but would in, in the spirit of science and collaboration on the earth, would you, Denny G, go away for a year with the aliens? I'd ask him to define the word pristine first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you're not wrong i was there too i'm like like you're gonna take me apart and it's put a me back good up. point not is dumping. this your quality of pristine or my quality what does that mean right am i going to be yeah. coming back as a baby right. i mean i'll no. take coming back at 21 no. the answer is no no yeah. debbie would you go away for a year in the spirit of science and exploration I, I would have more questions before I would agree to, to represent us. But if they didn't, couldn't answer any more than what I just said to you. No. No. Okay. Mitch? Yeah, I'm with Debbie. I'd have more questions. Hmm. Okay. Like, yeah. am I going to be on the beach? Is it going to be warm? Am I going to be comfortable? Is Define there Christine. alcohol? Is there alcohol? <laughs> right? I, I mean, can you bring me back as a 21 year old? I'll is, take Is there a bar on your ship? Be baby. If they roll out a margarita machine, Debbie's following them onto the ship. I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> Sam? I don't know if I would be the 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 chosen one that they would want but if it if it really was if it really was they were like sam we want you i would do it yeah that'd be cool yeah i go now this is interesting this is interesting about all of our personalities there's got to be something here because i would go i wouldn't even think twice absolutely Shocking. like a cruise ship Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> That's your vision of it. I'm it's getting, just a more uh, extreme. Do you have a casino and, and can I get the drink package? <laughs> Different <laughs> excursions. <laughs> yeah, I would absolutely Dennis, go. Dennis is just looking at this as an extended cruise. That's right. Really yeah. Funny. His viewpoint is. I mean, I would go absolutely. You could, I mean, you, who, no, I mean, who knows? Tub? What you would so, they, so, so you're going to be coming back as a pristine condition. And so when they take you, they're going to cut you all up and open you up to check this all out. It's going to be incredibly painful. You're going to go through this for a year. But when you come back, you're going to be just fine. I'm mm -hmm. I'm taking the positive, not the Hollywood version, Denny G, which is <laughs> that it's going to be lovely, kind of like, um, be like Jody, a cruise. <laughs> Jody Foster in contact. OK, that was not lovely for her. Well, no, but she overreacted. Well, oh, no. she overreacted. Hey, wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. What did you just say? <laughs> say I'm apologize to Jodie Foster. She overreacted in that deal. How so did she overreact? She said it just gone with the flow. She was on the beach with her dad. It was They nice. didn't need she to send a poet or what? Right. She's just walking <laughs> through the sand. I mean, it was fine. How, did, how did she over? You need to explain that to me. Her nickname oh. was the best. Her nickname was Sparks. <clears throat> No, no, back up. How did she overreact? You're not going past this because now I'm annoyed. So no, I think no, I don't. I think no. Okay, maybe the movie overreacted. Debbie gonna whoop you up for her little oak. She's gonna whoop you. She's gonna whoop you. I need a bell. Oh no, nobody. No, no, no. I think the movie. I meant the movie overreacted. Like the the society surrounding her overreacted about it is really what I mean to say. What does that even mean? They didn't yeah. believe her. They had <laughs> seven hearings. They didn't oh. believe her. They had seven hearings it. about it. They 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 ostracized her. They made her to be sort of a villain and a liar. That's really you what I don't meant think that social media would have done that to her. In the oh, game. I'm not saying it's not real life. I'm just saying I didn't like the part of the movie. Yeah. Oh wait, <clears throat> let me. I don't think me, Fox News would believe it. Let me, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. You think if that were to happen today, the American government wouldn't do the exact same thing and bury the fact that they had how many hours of video? Like, blank like 18 video? hours of blank video. Yeah. yeah, like 18 hours. You think the American government would not try to keep that under wraps? <clears throat> we know they would because they've admitted it's the special task force they've had, you know, for 30 or 40 years that they're just now telling us last last month. Exists. I, I personally believe that was a very real representation of what would happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't if disagree. Something with you. like that were to happen. So I don't disagree yeah. with you. I don't like it, but I don't disagree with you. It's it's worse now, like Mitch said, with with 
the social media that we have now, it'd be a thousand and times the worse. The fake news, it would be just oh, it'd yeah. be horrible. It'd be pandemonium. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So I love bottom- that movie. Love that movie. So you can't say anything yes. negative about it. Love that movie. So bottom line, we do want to hear from you. If you've got an alien story, an abduction story, or a sighting story, you can email us at podcast at dennisgeorgeshow.com. Uh, or if you want to express your views about what you think, Debbie. And and don't forget, somebody take put a tinfoil hat on hat. and take a picture so that Sam can see have the, the hat. So it didn't happen. If you have a lovely aluminum foil hat that you wear, we would be happy to I see it. I want to see it. Yeah, we'd be happy to see it. And we'll try not to make fun of you. Um, and We won't. I just want to I just want to know. Okay. Not you, Sam. Him. Me? Okay. No. Dennis. Oh, okay. You're pointing in directions, and that's not where Dennis is on my screen. He's on that side for me, so that's why I was pointing that direction. Yeah. I we have an apology list, but it's probably pretty short. We have to apologize to the aliens, (laughs) farmers, farmers, because you call them drunks. Uh, 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 You did. Yeah, but I did. I'm just saying they're out in the middle of the field. Mitch did. Yeah. They're on farmers only. We have to apologize to all the cancer organizations. Dennis, that, that was, was you. a good promotion stand up for cancer. We got to apologize to Mexico. Look down for cancer. Yeah. UFO uh, agencies. We got to apologize to Florida. We got to apologize <laughs> to the whoop. I think we got to apologize to our to space us. friends. <laughs> we got to apologize to the hoo ha. Uh, we have to apologize to Uranus. We have to apologize to Pixie. We have to apologize to Foil Hat people. We apologize. I just don't know. I didn't know. Uh, Scientology. We have to apologize to Scientology. Yeah. Pixitani Phil. We have to apologize. Dennis Rodman. Hot dogs. We should probably apologize to the hot dogs. Because when you slam them both together, <laughs> slam them together. <laughs> And we have to apologize to Jody Foster. Hey, the first week you haven't had to apologize to me. Woohoo! So somebody it's true. insult Debbie. That's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's, there's a time. first time for there's everything. Time. There's still time. There's a try I just would have thought we had to apologize awesome. to her for balls deep. <clears throat> well, I mean, I did have to put my head down quite early in the show. And endure it happened very fast. It did. It's it true. did so quick. So write us a uh, podcast at dennisgeorgeshow.com. And remember, if you're listening to us on a podcast, you can see us on YouTube. And if you see us on YouTube, you can also follow us on our podcast and social what? media channels as well. Because we're Debbie everywhere, 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 like the aliens. And for those of you who think this this show was completely absurd, we'll be back with our regular routine next week. So. Uh, stick around. And by the way, I should say happy Mother's Day. So shout out to all of our moms. Anyone want to say anything? Happy Mother birthday, Ma. Today. Mother's Day Hi, coming Mom. up. My mother's not allowed to listen to the show, so I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to email one, her the link. You might be able to send this one to her. She's I. She could listen. Balls to deep. Time. No, we cannot. This would be why I do not let her listen to the show. <clears throat> All right. She's she going to have too many questions. questions. She would be tisking so much. So much. She'd be fisting so much. <laughs> apologize <laughs> to me right Debbie. now, Dennis. Apologize. We're going to apologize to Dennis. We're going to apologize to fisters and fisties. Why do you apologize to Dennis? Because he didn't need to bring it up. It's what? Tisking. Tisk. 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 Oh, tisking. Tisk. Tisk. Oh, make Oh, I see. I got it. Okay. Debbie, I'm sorry. I'm going to Thank apologize you. for Dennis. Thank you, Mitchell. I appreciate that. I'm, Somebody I'm, needs to apologize for Dennis. Oh. I'm oh. sorry. How Debbie. bad is it if I want to apologize to uh, Debbie? I'm apologizing to Debbie. All we right. were How so close. So close. Almost Debbie. only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I really did think that's what you said. What no, did I you say? Tisking. Spell tisk, it. Tisk. T i s k. T o. Not with an F. <laughs> I heard all kinds of different stuff. <laughs> and it wasn't good. Right. See. <laughs> <laughs> um, T so. and 
D and F and S are the four hardest letters to actually have come through clear when you're talking on the phone or via a microphone. I found that out when I was working in an answering service. Hmm. So there you go. That's your little fun. So uh, I, learned, next, I learned something today. That's good. Next week, we are going to read listener email. So this is a good time to get one in. Uh, podcast at DennisShortShow.com. And until then, happy Mother's Day, and we will see you all next week. Bye. Bye. Join us again next time for another edition of the Dennis George Show. Thanks for watching.